Within days of those first monster storms, Tucson sent help. And those leading the charge now say this latest stretch of deadly weather is weighing heavily on relief workers. Not on your side's Maggie Vespa brings us that story. After three days in the tornado ravaged region, George Farman knew the sirens could be just the beginning. You have to wait to where it sounds like a freight train. Farman works for Tucson's Community Food Bank. He was deployed to Oklahoma to help drive donations from town to town. Friday, he spent four plus hours in the lobby of his Oklahoma City hotel, a tornado passing by just a few miles away. The sky was completely black. It's like a monsoon but on a much larger scale. At the same time, a few miles south, two more Tucsonans huddled inside a closet. It's been a really dark sky, which is concerning. Gwen Corner and Caitlin Snyder work with World Care. They, like Farman, spent the weekend surveying the damage. They say while residents see these storms as a fact of life. They're used to it. It's more, well, it's Oklahoma, you know, this is what we do. This has been more than most can handle. Everybody's tired of the bad weather. Especially when word spread of these latest casualties, including three veteran storm chasers. I don't know where any of the shelters are. I don't know exactly exactly what's going on. So if, if he didn't know, then it makes me nervous. Nerves that are remaining raw as survivors and workers dig through the rubble of a city seemingly under siege. I'm Maggie Vespa, KGON 9, on your side. By the way, Corner and Snyder made it back to Tucson today. They say your donations made it to Oklahoma safe and sound. Farman plans to stay in that area through the end of next week.